As I open the box, you'll notice some fancy smancy components. These were part of the Kickstarter and won't be part of the retail release. After you lay out the canvas board, give the art cards a shuffle, then place them in the deck box. Place one card in each of the slots from the deck box. Randomly select four scoring cards and place them along the top of the board. Place a supply of ribbons next to each scoring card that match the space's color. Give each player four inspiration tokens and three sleeved backgrounds. You're now ready to start the game. The object of the game is to create three paintings and to score as many points as possible based on their composition. A painting's composition is determined by the symbols in the color swatches and how well you match them to the scoring conditions. On your turn, you have two possible actions. Take an art card or make a painting. To take an art card, you simply take it off the board. The card furthest from the deck box is always free to take. Simply pick it up into your hand. Once you do, slide the other cards down and draw a new card. If you wish to take a card later in sequence, you must place an inspiration token on any card before it. For example, if I want the third card, I must place an inspiration token on the first and second cards. Then I can take the third card into my hand. If you take a card that has any inspiration tokens on it, you also get those tokens. You can only have a maximum of five art cards in your hand. If you have five cards, then you must take the make a painting action on your turn. To make a painting, you must take three art cards, no more, no less, and layer them within the background sleeve. Once you've done that, you score ribbons based on how well your composition satisfies the scoring conditions from the scoring cards. This is determined by the elements on the color swatches on the cards. By layering the cards, you can cover up certain symbols. It becomes a puzzle to figure out how to layer the cards to maximize your scoring potential. So in this example, I would want to layer these cards in this order. The emphasis scoring card only wants one hue on the painting, so I would get a ribbon for satisfying it. Variety wants all four elements to be represented in the painting. I also satisfy this, so I get a ribbon. Symmetry wants a matching set of elements in red and purple or in yellow and blue. Unfortunately, I did not meet this condition, so I get no ribbon for this. Proximity wants texture and tone elements adjacent to each other. I have them in the blue and purple swatches, so I get a ribbon for this. Take note that despite the fact these two elements both appear in the purple swatch together, that does not satisfy the conditions for scoring. They must be adjacent to each other. There are also bonus symbols. These give you bonus ribbons based on how many matching elements are on the card. In this example, you get a bonus ribbon for each tone element in the painting, so this would score three bonus ribbons. Some scoring cards can be scored more than once on the same painting. If you're ever in doubt about a scoring card, the back side of the cards give clarifications and examples on how to score them. When scoring, you must remember that each symbol can only be used to score a card once. So even though this card could potentially satisfy the scoring card twice, because there's only one tone element adjacent to the two texture elements, it can only score once. Once you have completed your third painting, you're finished. After everyone completes their paintings, you move into the scoring phase. Each scoring card shows how many points you receive based on the number of ribbons you've earned. It's important to note that each card has a maximum score. If you have more ribbons than the maximum, they don't count towards scoring. The only exception is the bonus ribbons that are worth two points each, and you can have as many of them as you want. So if I earned all these ribbons, I would get four points for emphasis, eight points for proximity, four points for variety, three points for symmetry, and six points for the bonus ribbons for a total of 25 points. Whoever has the most points at the end is the winner.